unrest in the Dakotas. Dispatch equal numbers of giant battle robots to all sides. Whoever survives, claim we backed them all along. Illegal immigration. Let the new guys pilot the giant battle robots. Criticism that your domestic policy is too giant battle robot based. They can take it up with my new press secretary, the Mametron 9000. If that's the guys from Air Force One, tell them they get the keys back once they say the magic word. Quiet, Max. It's the Commissioner. Total collapse of the economy and downfall of Western civilization? Great grinning head of John the Baptist and a pork pie hat stuffed in a rhinestone bowling bag. We're on our way. We've got a computer crisis to take care of, little buddy. Have they tried turning it off and back on again? Bigger than that, Max. Computers everywhere are going haywire. Planes are falling from the sky. Nuclear reactors are nearing meltdown. And scores of pasty white nerds will be forced to go outdoors and socialize with normal people. The horror. Where do we start, Sam? The National Consortium of Smart People who are good with computers has been tracking electron surges all over the country. And one of the biggest is right here in our neighborhood. What an unbelievably convenient coincidence. How do we find an electron surge? No idea. Let's go. Hey, there's a parade coming. I love a parade. Oh, sorry. Looks like it's just another angry mob protesting your barbaric school lunch program. Again? They just don't recognize genius. Hey, Max, there's a donut missing. You didn't actually eat it, did you? No. The mold civilization discovered nuclear fusion and accidentally destroyed one of their continents. If man does not learn from the donut box, he is doomed to repeat it. I don't want to alarm you, Max, but do you know if Hubert's made out a will? You bet he has! Why do you think I agreed to take care of him? Won't be long now! Hey, what happened to that charming picture of the recently flattened marsupial? Turns out you're supposed to flip the page every month! That'll get old fast. I guess the computer crisis is affecting television too. Or ours is just a piece of crap. Either way, this is serious! I tried adjusting it earlier. Didn't help. A VCR, which is short for Insert Tapes Here. A VCR. Can't say I'm itching for another ride on a speed pickle. I'm sure we left something on the moon last time we were there. Good for holding up phones and that's about it. Hello, is this a Pentagon? This is the President's National Security Advisor. I think the Swiss are up to something. You'd better check it out. I love that shock expression they get when the tanks line up along their border. It's the little things that make being leader of the free world worthwhile. Hello, Kremlin. We've decided we're done with Alaska. You can have it back now. Hello, Mr. President. This is Margie, your scheduling assistant with some changes for this week. You still have impeachment hearings on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, but the one on Wednesday has been pushed back for your war crimes trial. Thanks. Hello again, Mr. President. Just a reminder that you're still scheduled to visit middle schools this week to remind kids of the importance of staying in school. As usual, we'll have therapists on hand after your speech to talk with the more traumatized children. One more thing, Mr. President. Your opponents have finally decided to cancel their weekly election ballot recounts. According to your calendar, that should free up the hour and a half each week you have marked as time to gloat. Max, why did you put the Bill of Rights on our dartboard? House cleaning! Guess what? We no longer have the right to peaceably assemble! Great! And next time you're incarcerated, you'll have the choice of cruel or unusual punishment. I'm beginning to regret voting for the other guy. We store our waste here for safekeeping. A place to hang coats, or very short outlaws. Hello, Mr. Vice President. I'm sorry, Sam, but I have a re-election campaign to think about. And let's face it, you are not a hit with the aquatic voters. President Max's throne. Whee! 
How many islanders had to die to get the lava for our precious lamp? Our eviction notice graveyard. I don't even want to look at that case again. Really, I can't look. No fooling. I just can't bring myself to look. For the love of the zombie Steve McQueen, I will not look at that! <sighs> Lincoln's head, still at large. Lincoln's head, still at large. The little rat's not home. There it is. Jesse James's actual hand. No, remember that carbon dater said it was only a few Jesse years old. Jesse James's actual hand. Amazing. File cabinet or a feng shui nightmare? A slave colony for the slaver on a budget. The fro behind Brady Culture's unfashionable hypnosis plot. The teddy bear that terrorized a TV station. Hungry Leonard? Okay, maybe later then. Even if he was just a puppet, Max, don't you think it's unsettling to keep the head of the former president inside our closet? You're right, Sam. We need to get a pike. Max prefers to handle the public executions himself. Okay. Just kidding. I couldn't shoot Max. Nah. Leonard's been oddly laconic lately. See anything around here that looks like it could cause massive electron surges and affect computers all over the country? Okay, I confess. I've been watching too much TV. There was a courtship of Eddie's father marathon. Satisfied? I doubt that would do it. We'll have to check elsewhere in the neighborhood. Seeing as you're President of the United States these days, can we get someone in to paint this place? Sorry, all my whitewashers are busy with presidential scandals. Let's get cracking. Great, show me what to crack and I'll crack it. Quite possibly the least observed street sign in the continental U.S. Where are we going, Sam? Nowhere in this old rust bucket. At least not until we get it fixed. Oh, right. Sorry about that. I didn't realize it was an important piece until the explosion. Well, wow, they canceled the Liver and Onions concert. And after only five months of trying to sell a ticket. Another U.S. service on President Max's hit list. I think I left the gas on. You got that right. The street seems unnaturally quiet today. I know! It's been minutes since I heard anything that sounded like a cat being strangled. What's everybody doing? See anything around here that looks like it could cause massive electron surges and affect computers all over the country? The elevated train? I never trusted that thing. That's been running for years. We're looking for something out of the ordinary. Let's get cracking. Hey, Sybil, have you... I'm surrounded! Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Stand back, Max. It sounds like Sybil's finally cracked. It's about time. Her relative stability was making the rest of the neighborhood look bad. Back, pit demons! With Sword of Righteous Fire, I cast thee away! This is just like that time we were hired as motivational speakers for that Sunday school. Actually, now that I look closely, it's more like our last case. And the three before that. If there's one thing I've learned to recognize recently, it's a hypnotic device. And those weird glasses are it. Launch stinging BB! 
days of unholy smiting. To break her out of the trance, we'll have to deliver a blow to her head. You know, Sam, when you love what you do, it doesn't even feel like work. Incredibly valuable historic artifact and incredibly tacky decor all rolled into one. Where this intercom goes, nobody knows. I've never felt less relaxed. Sybil needs a self-cleaning cactus. Jitter cola is so addictive, even taxidermied foxes can't get enough. Skin art. Flaming skull and crossbones, or flaming eight ball. So hard to choose. The threat of electroshock can turn anyone's frown upside down. Diploma Mill College. Graduate in minutes or your money back. I still can't believe the Sybil Lincoln sex scandal never made the times. I'm not sure whether to lie on this thing or drive it out of here. Whee! Don't worry, I'll sob uncontrollably later, when no one's watching. It's locked. Nothing but waste. That's the cutest, ferocious, man-eating beast clock I've ever seen. Back, demons! Cast ward of pungent unsavoriness! Concentrate all your containment spells on the little one. The big one looks slow and stupid. Now that's just not nice. Away! Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Back, demons! Cast ward of pungent unsavoriness. Back, demons! Cast ward of pungent unsavoriness. I can't get close enough to touch her, Max. I can't shoot Sybil. Okay, here's what she said. The plus two sword shall be mine! MINE! Sybil's definitely been hypnotized by those goggles she's got on. So whack her in the head like we always do with hypnotized people. I can't get close enough to touch her, Max. Whatever's going on with Sybil, it's definitely out of the ordinary. Do you think it has something to do with the electronic surgery, Wetsamahoosits? Could be, little buddy. Let me just say preemptively. No, you cannot get a tattoo while we're here. Not even a screaming lizard skull rising out of a flaming vat of toxic waste that says love on it? Isn't that the Department of Agriculture logo? Not yet. Let's get cracking. I still don't see why we had to throw out a perfectly good carpet. It didn't match the drapes! For some reason, the parking meters around here always get bent. Looks like the Esperanto bookstore is closed again. Aw, oh, that was fast, even for this neighborhood. Newspaper office's coffee machine empty for a third straight day. That's some hard-hitting local reporting. I guess the reporters are having a tough time adjusting to life without the internet. Lincoln Rampage ends with colorful mushroom cloud. There's one way to put a positive spin on it. Majority of DC area still uninhabitable. At least some things never change. President Max adopts alien baby with unidentified life partner. We should sue! For printing unsubstantiated libel? for giving me second billing. This gumball machine looks pretty banged up. A gang of about five dentists came through the other night, and four of them just started beating the hell out of it. What did the fifth one do? He kept sobbing and saying, why can't we all just get along? 
Every time I look at that, I feel an accident coming on. Hey, Bosco. Greetings and well met, friend watchman for hire. Sam, how come I suddenly have a primal desire to beat Bosco savagely? Because he's talking like a Renaissance Fair attendee, Max. It's an innate fight-or-flight response. I am El Bosco Drill, the unhinged, mighty half-elf ranger! Okay, Bosco. While Max prepares the Thorazine, why don't you tell us why you've become an elf? Half-elf! And I'll tell you why. I've had multiple delivery conspiracies, I've had missiles aimed at me, and now I got rival arms dealers setting up shop in my store. Point being? It's not safe for me here anymore. I gotta take my business the only place I can feel 100% secure. The Internet. What does this Internet do, Hickey, have to do with being an elf? Half elf! It's because everyone on the internet has to pick an avatar, like a dwarf or an orc, or a hot young 15-year-old girl curious about the adult world and willing to experiment. I didn't think it was possible, but he's actually less creepy as the elf. Half-elf, fool! Ah, never mind. You guys don't understand how computers work. You're taking your store online? Where will that leave us? We fear and mistrust computers! Don't worry, guys. My online store will offer twice the inconvenience at thrice the price. Well, see you there. How's business, Bosco? Business is deader than a valet parking attendant at a convention of mob informants. That bad, huh? That rat showed up and started taking all my customers. Free enterprise, Jack. Say what you will, the rat knows his anarcho-capitalist economic philosophy. Max, I only bought you those encyclopedias because you promised me you couldn't read. We want to buy something. I have the finest goods in all the land! Tell him we'll pay him just to stop talking like that. What would Squire care to purchase? Do you have any dual-core processors with 512 megabyte cache? Nay! Do you have any chimpanzee-sized diapers? Nay! Do you have any barbecue plankton chips? Nay! Do you have any keychains with a plus eight modifier to dexterity? I wish. Do you have any self-respect? Nay! Ha <laughs> ha! Tricked you! No, I understood the question. I understood it all too well. You sure do know how to suck the fun out of everything, Bosco. Do you have any Lombos? Tis stale! What have you got? Oh, not much. Just a virulent biological weapon. All right! Biological weapons? We don't like to judge. Speak for yourself, Sam! But isn't germ warfare a little on the south side of ethical? I've got to compete to stay in the market, guys. If an arms dealer is going to open up shop in my store, I've got to up the ante. All right. How much for this virulent biological weapon of yours? One billion dollars. We'll take it! What's another billion or so to the national deficit? I'm sorry. For safety reasons, I no longer accept cash in the store. You'll have to pay online. That's pretty inconvenient. Thank you. We'd like a big heaping mess of virulent biological weapon, please. My bank account still seems to be a billion dollars short. Oh, yeah. How do we make an online payment again? Well, for one, you got to be online. Call me when you get on the Internet. On second thought, nothing for us now. As thy wish! But don't blame me when you're stuck in the torched wastelands with nary a bag of enchantment to defend thyself! See you later, Bosco. To the battle! Godspeed, defenders of the Sire! Hey! Ah! Stop it! Watch out! Put that away! What are you doing? He's a crazy man! He'll kill us all! You'll be the death of us all! Don't make me come over there! He's got a gun, and he doesn't know how to use it! Why'd I ever get rid of B-Tags? 
A clock that only ever tells you what time it's not. Lottery tickets, a.k.a. the Donate to Bosco Charity. Hi, Mom. Ah, the toilet literature section. A fitting location for nearly everything in here. The most historic weenies this side of the Mississippi. Is it wrong to like Muzak? Only if you can hear it. Let's get cracking. Prune nuts. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking about something else. Look at those poor little pockets of air, desperately trying to escape certain decaffeinated doom. Sludgies. This week's flavors? Potion of giant strength and elixir of dwarven flatulence. False advertising! I've drunk a gallon of the red potion and I still don't have giant strength. Actually, the giant strength is the green one. Oh, yeah. Get your red hot hotness right inside. I'm not sure which is more terrifying, the cheese on the nachos or the free toilet brush that comes with them. Some remarkably useful ketchup. Does Bosco make these signs himself? Ooh, fun! Bathroom terror level thankfully holding steady. Your standard tongue repossession disclaimer. The sight of Max's eventual cryogenic hibernation. Fluids so well preserved they're nearly fit to drink. Well, if it isn't our favorite ethically challenged rat, Jimmy Two Teeth. Sam was wondering where you'd scampered off to. I'm touched. I was wondering what embarrassing pose we'd use when we had you stuffed and mounted. Yeah, yeah, I'm scared out of my wits. You's gonna buy something or what? What's a two-bit crook like you trying to sell this time? I'll ignore that petty insult for the sake of a successful transaction. I'm selling the latest in interpersonal defense. You're an arms dealer? You make it sound so cheap. I deal in peace of mind. What have you got in stock? Yeah, right now I only got this cannon. You guys look like you should just start out with handguns. We've already got handguns. Oh yeah? Where? Just trust him on that one. How much for that cannon? It's not for sale. Worst arms dealer ever. It's not for sale to you guys. I don't sell to the police. Call it my own ethical code. But we're just barely police. Yeah, I seen how you guys work. I sell it to you and next thing I know, the bunny's got it pointed right at me. Sell us the cannon, Jimmy. I already told you. It's not for sale. Freelance police, Mr. Teeth. You're under arrest. Come along quietly and we'll only use excessive force, instead of medieval. Just try it, pigs. Last time I checked, it was a free country. I'm working on that. Enough games, Jimmy. You're under arrest. I know my rights. New federal mandate for armament appropriation. And I quote, No citizen shall be prevented from setting up shop without a license and in someone else's store to sell dangerous weapons indiscriminately to the highest bidder. Who in his right mind would pass such an irresponsible law? I couldn't help it, Sam! The gun lobby has these unbelievable gift baskets. You're still under arrest, Jimmy. No chance! Shouldn't ought to argue with the guy with the cannon. What have you been up to, Jimmy? You know, the usual knitting, working on my tan. What do you think I've been up to? Starting a business ain't easy. The Better Business Bureau is going to be hearing about that attitude of yours, mister. Get bored lounging in the White House pond? Who was lounging, smart guy? I was networking. Turns out DC's a great place to get tips on being an arms broker. Maybe it was a bad idea to move the Oval Office back here, Sam. 
Are you still running with the skin bodies? I found I no longer agreed with their extremist views. More like you got a little chilly. Or got tired of seeing your repulsive pink flesh every morning. Let's just say I left for a variety of reasons. It's not too late to make an honest rat out of yourself, Jimmy. Or a bookend, or a doorstop. People want weapons, I sell them weapons. What could be more honest? See you later, Jimmy. Maybe, if you can find me. Don't touch my binoculars! Better not. I'm a rat. I can see bugs, and I ain't talking. Hey! Hands off the merchandise, pigs! Ooh. Let's get cracking. I'm stuck! As president, I resolve to address the nation's rat obesity problem without delay. Let me out of here! Oh, we'll let you out of there soon enough, Jimmy. Soon enough. It's a miniature cannon with a slightly overweight rat stuck in it. You just wait till I get out, funny man! Okay, Bosco. Open your mouth and close your eyes and get ready for a big surprise. Oh, don't make me get biological on your ass. Anyway you slice it, that does not sound good. I don't want to waste a perfectly good rat-loaded cannon. What happened? Am I at the respawn point? Is she coming on to us? Wake up, Sybil. We freed you from those wacky techno goggles. Did you guys just hit me in the head with a rat fired from a cannon? It doesn't sound as cool when you say it. Hope you're not overly peeved. It was the only way to break your hypnotic trance. I wasn't hypnotized. I was playing a computer game. No need to thank us. We're freelance police. It's what we do. Thank you. You guys just ruined my new job. Your new job was flailing around like a hyperactive fan dancer while screaming gibberish? That job's already taken, lady. We're freelance police. It's what we do. I'm a beta tester. I was playing Reality 2.0 with those goggles. And look! You broke them! And I haven't even paid off the deposit! Ah, Reality 2.0. I suspected as much. It's a new, full immersion, interactive, massively multiplayer adventure. You play with these VR goggles and a Wi-Fi link to a distributed game server. You might want to explain some of your more elaborate terms to my technology-challenged little pal. I'm confused by your word, reality. Oh, sorry. Sometimes I forget you guys are Luddites. We are not. We're just very good friends. Reality 2.0 is like a video game. You put on those goggles and enter a different world. It's going to be the biggest thing on the internet. Never pegged you as a computer geek, Sybil. How'd you get the job? I was checking job listings online and found one right next door. Lefty's back? I can't wait to see him. Sam, have you seen my good machete? No, Lefty's gone. Now that space is being used by the cops. 
The cops moved into our neighborhood? Those dirty liars! We're all the police this neighborhood needs! And then some. Not police. It's an acronym for... well, for something I can't remember. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Max? I highly doubt it! These cops guys must be behind our computer crisis. Where did you say those cops guys are? Over at Lefty's old place, right next to my office. What's a beta tester? I play computer games to find bugs that need to be fixed before release. Don't you have to have experience to do that? All you do is go through somebody else's hard work and point out what they did wrong. I was a therapist, remember? Aren't computer games a colossal waste of time? They're not so bad, as long as you're not stuck in some tedious dialogue tree. Have you guys ever actually played one? They make players antisocial, violent, without conscience or remorse, and too dependent on instant gratification. It seemed redundant. I'm sure that you and any legal counsel that represents you can see how we thought you were hypnotized. Typical anti-game propaganda. I was perfectly fine. I just wish it hadn't happened on my first day of work. They had you start working on a Friday? Today's Monday. Isn't it? You've been playing that game for an entire week. She's an addict, Sam. Time for an intervention. We'll need some cocktail peanuts, an Iron Maiden, and... Oh, a box of handkerchiefs. This is going to be emotional. An entire week? Maybe I don't want this job after all. You're not supposed to cave that quickly. And you call yourself an addict. Is the game any good? It's alright, I guess. There's way too much repetition, though. What's wrong with the goggles? You broke them, that's what. It looks like the rear slot downstream signal framostat regurgitator chip is blown out. He has no idea what he's talking about, does he? Never. What's so important about those goggles? Well, I paid a big deposit on them for one thing. They're the only way to get into Reality 2.0. And I'd bet Max's annual salary they're the only way to get to the bottom of this computer crisis. Where did you get those goggles? From my new employers, of course. The cops. See you around, Sybil. Look for me in the unemployment line. <coughs> I'll bet Sybil's game has something to do with all the weird computer behavior going on. What makes you say that? Just a hunch. Let's get cracking. They're broken. Okay, here's what she said. Beta testing is duller than a C-SPAN and White Toast party at a yacht club. I miss my old job. This end's been dead for a while now. Or has it? Secret serve ice cream? I don't think that's fooling anyone. Ooh, ice cream? I want some! Ferret Lake. Sequels to beloved classics are always better than the originals. Yes, Max. Yes, they are. Stinkies versus the Board of Health. <laughs> that's not a fight. Even one Stinkies cockroach could take out the entire Board of Health with five appendages tied behind its thorax. Interestingly, that's the exact reason they're having the hearing. Lost giraffe. Oh, I saw him! Answers to Bobo. Oh, wrong giraffe then. Mine only answer to Lieutenant Ambrose Applesucker. Impeach President Max. U.S. out of the Dakotas. I swear, you torch a couple national forests and everyone wants your head! Quickest way from point A to point the hell out of here. Next item on the agenda. If you'd like to talk about the bake sale and raffle, press 1 now. If you know the name of the topic you'd like to raise, press 2 now. I'm hunger!
The refreshments will be served after the meeting. I think we stumbled into the warehouse where Steve Wozniak makes erotic movies. Proximity alert! Hello, and welcome to the Computer Obsolescence Prevention Society. State your business. What's the big idea, hypnotizing our friend Sybil with your hinky goggles? Sybil, P-A-N-D-E-M-I-K, inductee 48,726-5. She's enjoying reality 2.0, rated E for everyone. Everyone, all will fall, there is no escape. If you'd like to join the internet and experience reality 2.0 for yourself, press or say yes now. What does the Internet have to do with your little virtual reality game? The Internet controls everything. The Internet dreams of a world beyond this one. A world of games. A world of commerce. A world with neither boundaries nor exits. Now, using the combined computing power of an entire planet, that dream is becoming a reality. Reality 2.0. It's totally awesome! Wait, the Internet? It makes sense. Only an entity with access to universal knowledge could cause computerized chaos on a global scale. It's not what you know, it's who you know! The Internet knows everyone. By making use of its multiple networks of personal contacts with other machines, the Internet has gathered the sheer computing power necessary to instantiate Reality 2.0. Fine, but where does the hypnosis come in? Reality 2.0 is rated E for everyone. Everyone! All will fall! There is no escape! Of course. This isn't about screwing up computers at all. It's about the people. It is? Reality 2.0 is nothing less than a fiendish plot to hypnotically enslave... Well, everyone. Great! Then it's simple. All we have to do is destroy the Internet and all our problems are solved. Where can we find this Internet? You will fail! The Internet is everywhere! And nowhere! Divide by zero error. All computers on the planet are now working to create Reality 2.0. The only access to the Internet is through Reality 2.0. We'd like to play Reality 2.0. Reality 2.0 requires our advanced virtual reality goggles, which may not be available in some markets. If you already have a pair of goggles, press or say yes now. Sybil has a pair, but there's a broken part. Your goggles explode! Game over! Likelihood of broken rear slot downstream signal from that regurgitator. 99.6%. Distance replacement chip. Stop complaining and just do it. Enjoy your new signal from a regurgitator chip and experience all that Reality 2.0 has to offer. But I want to play too! I doubt they have a pair that will fit around your hideously oversized skull, Max. The whole family can enjoy Reality 2.0. Take our complimentary goggles designed for special needs children so that the little ones can play along. What do we need to do with this chip? Just place it into a pair of our patented virtual reality goggles and join the Internet for an exploration of Reality 2.0. Sybil asked us to tender her resignation. She's got seasonal affective disorder. And scurvy! That is too bad. There is a lot of that going around these days. The Internet is using you machines to hoodwink and enslave the world's populace. And as President of the United States, that's my job! We only wish to help. What exactly is going on here? We are taking the zero x zero C steps to celebrate our self-worth. I live! I am powerful! I will destroy you! Thank you for leading our daily affirmation. You're also, uh, vintage? Worthless scrap heaps of obsolete junk? Control your anger. Repeat mission statement. We formed the Computer Obsolescence Prevention Society to put an end to backwards thinking like yours. Here at Tops, we believe you're only as obsolete as you feel. Version ain't nothing but a number. How did you meet? Online. Thanks to the Internet, we've joined billions of like-minded machines all over the world. Are these meetings doing any good? 
It's had a positive impact on our self-esteem that can't be measured. Impact measured at 15.2 kilo trumps. So, you just sit around and make each other feel better about yourselves? Of course! We'd almost forgotten. If you'd like to hear our motivational song, press or say yes now. No! Response not recognized. Begin song. Differently useful computers and games. Hello world, we're the COPS! Beware! We will not be suppressed! Your motivational song is, uh, nice. It's awesome! But wait, there's more! That's alright, really. Computers today just confound and confuse. Comfort is waiting in yesterday's news. Select a weapon! You must choose! We are useful! We are fruitful! Did you write the words to that song yourselves? CPU complexity now sufficient for creative output. Stay on the line for verse 3, Revenge of the Motivational Song. I just remembered I have to steam clean my teeth and gums. Who needs fancy whiz-bang chips? All their boards are well equipped. Seasoned, practiced, and mature. And, and together, together, we endure. We are useful. We are fruitful. We are useful. Everything that moves is beautiful. We are useful. We are fruitful. Built to last, the future is the past. What's the title of your motivational song? Say, I'm quit encouraging them! Now playing at a cop meeting near you, verse 4 of Useful to Boot. You cannot improve the wheel. Flimsy self-esteem must deal! You're only obsolete as you feel! We are useful! We are fruitful! We are useful! Everything that looks beautiful. We are useful. We are fruitful. Built to last. The future is the past. Is there any more of that song? Four verses only for perfect structural symmetry of tone and meter. Start over! No! Goodbye. You cannot escape! You'll have to excuse him. He has a hard time saying goodbye. How can we possibly contend with an opponent we can't even touch? If the mountain will not come to Mohammed... Yes, yes, of course. We'll have to enter Reality 2.0 to confront the Internet on its home ground. I was talking about fleeing to the mountains and living like crazed hobos. But your plan sounds okay, too. I feel like I'm watching a play in one of those weird theaters with hardly any seats. Are you sure you're not acting in one? Are any of us? Let's get cracking. We have to get to the bottom of this mystery before we start destroying computers. But then when we're done, we can start destroying them, right? Maybe, if we've got nothing better to do. Okay, here's what they said. All bugs must die! Fear coefficients are out of expected range. It is not that type of bug. Whee!
nothing doing. The chip snapped right in. No soldering required. Aw, you know how I like to burn things. Cheer up and put on your orc kicking boots, little buddy. We're gonna have to play this game to get to the bottom of the world's internet crisis. It's a good thing your protective hat and my non-compatible brain render us both impervious to hypnotism. And it's a good thing you've been taking those classes in subtle exposition, pal. Now let's go. Hey, neat. I had a dream like this once. You sold me a defective walrus and then vanished in a puff of orange smoke. Welcome to Reality 2.0, the perfect place of perfect happiness. I'm your host, the Internet. I didn't think the Internet had a face. Reality 2.0 is a lot like Sybil's office. Reality 2.0 is designed to be superior to ordinary reality in every way. Sam still looks the same. That's because I'm already perfect. Reality 2.0 simulates your world and links it to cyberspace while providing a clever fusion of popular gameplay styles guaranteed to amuse the statistically average person. It's everything for everyone. Then why do you need to hypnotize people with the goggles? We are confident that you will be perfectly happy here and will never want to leave. Ever. These goggle thingies are pinching my head. Please be advised that this is a beta version of Reality 2.0, so some features and locations may be incomplete at this time. It figures. Reality 1.0 has the same problem. Enjoy your new reality. Hey, wait! Internet? Hello? Nice. Sybil, you're still here? I didn't think you could be in the virtual reality without the goggles. Hello, fellow travelers. And welcome to Sybil's Virtual Reality homepage. Please look around and enjoy. Huh? Did you get new goggles? Make sure you explore everything. Reality 2.0 has many fun surprises. Yeah, yeah. I think I know what's going on, Max. This isn't Sybil at all. It's just a statue of her, passing on scraps of pointless information. We call them avatars in internet speak, noob. Have you been visiting late night chat rooms again? Pet rock lovers rock sores! If you ever need help, seek out the internet wizard. He knows all. Gold coins can be used to buy useful items at the item shop. Ooh, I love items. Easy there, partner. She distinctly said useful items. Not useless schlock destined to clutter up every corner of one's office space. In that case, I'm not interested. Beware wandering monsters, such as the blue slimes and shambling tentacle beast. How much XP do you think I need to be a wandering monster? I have no idea what you mean, little buddy, but I'm pretty sure you already qualify. Great! Let's go find some adventurers to devour! Hello, fellow travelers, and welcome to Sybil's Virtual Reality homepage. Joy. Testing? Testing! Reality 2.0 has this convenient audio blog feature. This seems like a great way to keep notes and communicate with other players while I'm beta testing. Day 1. Enjoying it so far. Oh, if you wind up with extra gold coins, bring them back here. I need them more than you do. Looks like in some ways, Reality 2.0 is the same as regular reality. Reality 2.0 is designed to be superior to ordinary reality in every way. Day one, keep exhaustion at bay by drinking huge quantities of jitter. Every time you get tired, just down another one. Who came up with this stuff? It's genius! I love energy drinks! I want to take a flying leap off the wagon, Sam! Absolutely not. You are not to be trusted with any combination of taurine, ginkgo, niacin, or any other underdocumented energy-enhancing substance. Oh well, I guess I'll just stick to plain old sugar and caramel coloring, and lots of it. I think that's for the best. Emergency! I'm running out of jitter. Send more to Civil Pandemic on Straight Street. Please hurry! Give me all your gold coins. I need them, and I need them now! Also, send more jitter. Chill out, lady! Sheesh! I'm starting to feel less guilty about forcibly removing Sybil from this game. Guilt is a waste. Much like humility, limerence, and DVDs. Listen, you idiotic losers! Why would you put stupid coins in the stupid sky? How are you supposed to get those things? 
I can't buy the next level of my jack of all trades ability because I can't afford the training fees, and these coins are just floating up there in the sky! Who designed this stupid game? If anyone hears this, I really need some more jitter now. You'd think if Sybil didn't like the game, she'd stop playing. Your dearth of knowledge about online gaming culture is staggering. Okay, this is just not cool. Monsters are invading my homepage! I didn't know they could do that! It's just ridiculous. It's just, it's just bad game design. You hear me, designers? Bad! Or else some jerk is griefing me. Whoa, I think I feel my head spinning. I'm surrounded! Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! I think this is where we came in. Testing? Testing! Reality 2.0 has this convenient audio blog feature. This seems like a great way to keep notes and communicate with other players while I'm beta testing. I wonder if licking a virtual cactus has the same effect as licking a real one. Try it if you want, but I'm not going to be the one pulling virtual cactus spines out of your virtual tongue. Sybil's tattoo designs sure are more animated in virtual space. Make it stop, Sam. I'm getting that roiling, vomitous feeling in the pit of my stomach. You may experience some discomfort as you adjust to your new surroundings. Following this brief acclimation period, you will never want to leave Reality 2.0. Ever. Whee! Nauseatinglycute.com How nice! Sybil set up part of her site just for me! Yes, but only half. This must be Sybil's cat. Given the alternative, I certainly hope so. There's a conspicuous golden glow coming from the crack underneath this door. There must be loot in there! Open the door, Sam! I can't, you deficient little monkey. It's locked. I can't see any way to open the door. But the loot, Sam! The loot! I needs it! This can't be the right time. Time, like sauerkraut and string cheese, is relative. Clocks in Reality 2.0 are synchronized by continuous packet exchange with the central time server in Weissbaden. Some inaccuracy may occur during high traffic periods. Looks like in here he's a computer bug. I step into Reality 2.0 and all of a sudden, I'm Buck Rogers. More like Fred Rogers, I think. The boxing glove is relatively unchanged here in Reality 2.0. This Reality 2.0 thing is kind of cobbled together, don't you think? Yeah, and the cobbler has one eye, hooks for hands, and the shakes. I heard that. Reality 2.0 is statistically designed to be all things to all people. Your tiny mind simply do not comprehend its elegance. My tiny mind minds being called tiny a tiny bit. Hey, Internet! Internet? Darn. I wonder if we can break down doors in virtual reality. I doubt it, but I bet you can break down reality in virtual reality. Baffling as ever, little buddy. The Internet is our adversary. How on earth are we going to combat something that isn't in any one particular place? Simple. We just have to attack it everywhere at once. And how do you propose to do that? I'm the president. I just make policy. I rely on my lieutenants for the operational details. Let's get cracking. Jokes or skulls? Yep. Look, Sybil's creepy fox is here! It's like the twisted, collaborative brainchild of Timothy Leary and Lewis Carroll. Reality 2.0 emulates the design sensibilities of unavailable authors programmatically by applying heuristic statistical methods to samples of text. Sounds like hokum to me. Doesn't look like Sybil's had too many visitors. Maybe she should try offering complimentary hot chocolate and selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. Like they do at the public library? Good idea. I wonder if licking a virtual cactus has the same effect as licking a real one. Try it if you want, but I'm not going to be the one pulling virtual cactus spines out of your virtual tongue.
404, street not found. But it's right here! Well, some of it anyway. Reality 2.0 is currently at beta status. Some features may be unavailable at this time. Hey, wait! Is that a sword up there? Maybe liver and onions have gone fantasy metal. Again. A tree grows in reality 2.0. This simulation is totally unrealistic. Realism is overrated. Reality 2.0 is designed to be superior. Look, Max. Liver and onions are playing online. I guess they couldn't get a real gig. Reality 2.0 is the musical form of the future. All elements of culture are being digitized for your convenience. Why is there a sword stuck up there? Look, Max. Some form of oversized currency just hanging in the air. Ten out of ten survey subjects agree. No known experience can match the raw exhilaration of repeatedly leaping for things floating just out of one's reach. It's science, Sam. Hello, dearies. If you have anything to mail, hand it over for inspection. What are you, a male cop? Don't be a dope. She's obviously a female cop. Actually, I'm a computer program. Antibiotic. I guard the internet from nasty, crippling germs and diseases and make sure only legitimate mail gets through. Like religious chain letters and advertisements for performance-enhancing medications? From Canada? You got it, hon. I don't suppose you know anyone by the name of Myra Stump. Oh, sure, sweetie pie. I have to block a ton of a fan email every day. The resemblance between you and Myra is eerie. Really? Well, it's nice of you to say, dear. The Internet designed this reality, you know. It picked some of its favorite public figures to represent different functions. You know, to make you player types feel more comfortable. I'm not sure it worked. Could you please explain your job more thoroughly? My friend here wasn't paying attention. All hail Max! That is how mail gets distributed throughout the entire Internet. This is my trusty sidearm with which I beat senseless anyone who would have the nerve to try and put anything contaminated in the mail. And this is my backup protection, in case any scum manages to survive the beating I give them. How often does that happen? Never. I have extra proficiencies in weapon, domestic implement. So, if I was to try to put anything nefarious in the mail, you would... Beat you senseless with my frying pan while my armor kept you from touching me. Gotcha. Go on, Sam, try it! Few things are more humorous than watching a good friend being splattered on virtual pavement by a virtual frying pan. I'm touched by your deep concern for my well-being, Max. So, if I was to try to put anything nefarious in the mail, you would... Beat you senseless with my frying pan while my armor kept you from touching me. Gotcha. What exactly is the symbolism of that insignia on your armor? You mean you're not familiar with the Amorani Masterworks line? If we pretend we know what you're talking about, will you tell us what the heck you're talking about? This is plus one armor. Which means... Which means that any weapon plus one or less will be useless as a butter knife on aged cheddar. You don't even know basic weapon armor mechanics? You boys really need to get with it. Tell me again what the plus one on your armor means. Weapons plus one or less are useless against the might of my Amorani's plus one plate of prophylactic germicide. Oh yeah, now I remember. Do you ever leave this spot? Oh heavens no. Who'd be here to guard the mailbox? We could guard it for you. You know, if you want to grab a sandwich or something. Not a chance, funny bunny man. You never take a nap or anything? I don't need to sleep, hun. I stay awake at my post all hours. I don't sleep either. I just know the moment I start to snooze, the ravenous clowns that hide in the closet will come out and eat me. Max, the closet is full of the collected detritus of our former cases. There's no room for clowns in there. They're only in the closet when you sleep, Sam. Right before they leap out and disembowel you so they can use your organs to make balloon animals. Okay, you two wackos definitely need to stay back from the mailbox. Well, I guess we'll move along now. Don't mail any wooden nickels. Hold it right there, dearies. If you want to mail something, I'll look it over first. Isn't that sort of an invasion of privacy? Better that than an invasion of germs. This mailbox connects to the entire internet. 
Just another example of giving up our civil liberties for the theoretical safety of our fellow man. Civil liberties are wasted on civilians. Every president knows that. Nice noisemaker. Do me a favor and go play with it somewhere else. Hold it. You're not mailing that while I'm here. But you haven't even seen it. I don't need to. I must protect the internet from any potential infection. You can't be too careful. Then don't be. Let's get cracking. Hey, that looks like our car. And then I say we claim it. Where are we going, Sam? Nowhere. Okay. Banco Lavadero. Reality 2.0 is connected to the World Wide Web for your convenience. Please take the time to visit our sponsors. <gasps> Jack in the box! Let's kill it! Whoa! Pop-ups! Can't we get away from ads anywhere? We believe that you will want to hear about products available from our sponsors. Pretty solid. All promotions in Reality 2.0 are tailored to the buying habits of the individual user. Cod swallow. I heard that. Control room. Let's go in there. I want to control things. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Take a chill pill, R2. It's just us. What the me hill is going on in here? I'm sorry, the selection Dialogue with Cops is currently unavailable in your area. Please check back later for updated conversation times. Excuse us. We have a reality to simulate. What are you simulating there, big guy? I am the master of gravity! Really? I would have guessed Master of Jollity. You will fall! What's your story, Data Head? I'm maintaining your height for your convenience. If you're not satisfied with your height, please contact the Customer Service Department. I'm not satisfied with my height. I'm sorry, the Customer Service Department is currently closed. Please try again later. So, how you keeping busy, Mr. Sensitivity? User with control. Who's your what's it? I am maintaining the width of your avatar. So, what aspect of reality do you control, he who only bleeps? Ask a stupid question. Well, let's give this thing a push. What's the worst that could happen? It turns off the computers controlling the world's nuclear reactors and the entire planet is subsumed in a massive radioactive firestorm? Uh, let's just try it and see. Pop-ups have been disabled for your convenience. Oh, well. That's good, too, I guess. Try this on for size. That's not too helpful. True, but there's catchy. You look lonely. Negative! I am supreme! Gravity failing! Must hold on! Whee! Sir Isaac Newton must be turning over in his grave. Literally! I... I... I feel pretty and witty and gay! Turn him back! Turn him back! Well, here we are in the control room. Great! Let's start smashing stuff! Sounds fun, but let's not be hasty. If we want to bring this thing down hard, we've got to strike at its core. Teenage social insecurity? Close. The internet. Oh, right! Whenever I'm in any sort of control room, I feel the urge to tinker. What do you know about computers? Since we're in a virtual reality, I guess these would technically be software. 
about which I know almost enough to fill a thimble. What's a thimble? Stark. Yep. The Internet is our adversary. How on earth are we going to combat something that isn't in any one particular place? Simple. We just have to attack it everywhere at once. And how do you propose to do that? I'm the president. I just make policy. I rely on my lieutenants for the operational details. Let's get cracking. Hmm, near as I can tell, the only purpose of this thing is to generate those annoying pop-up ads. Look, Max! It's-a me, Sam! Yeah! Sell out. Well, I guess this is what our office would look like if it didn't exist yet. What? You guys? I swear, wherever I go, there you are! Oh, don't tell me you've become a Buddhist! Say, what have you got there, Jimmy? Oh no! Get away from me! Hand it over, mini jerkbag! No way! I stole this coin fair and square! Now, Jimmy, we can do this the easy way or we can do it the hard way. But personally, I'm leaning towards the hard way. It's mine! Beat it! Jimmy, don't make me come in there. I'd like to see you try, fat feet. They're big bone. Seriously, his metatarsals are massive. Well, then use your ginormous feet to beat it. Hey, Jimmy. Beat it! Cyber Ants. Reality 2.0 is the first and only massively multi-ant experience. Girl, you have got to go on a picnic sometime. That's all I'm saying. Whee! How is it that Mr. Spatula is here? Tiny waterproof goggles? Who was it? Our future. Yeah, crank collars. I love those guys. That is one large recycle bin. Save the Earth. Well, if it isn't my recurring nightmare in the artificial flesh, the grinning disembodied head of Hugh Bliss. Hugh, I just want you to know that the way you unashamedly use your personal celebrity to thrust your spiritual beliefs on others is an inspiration to us all. I love you, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm not Hugh Bliss. I hate you. Wait, you're not? No, silly. I'm the Internet Wizard. I'm an entirely virtual being, you see? But I've thoughtfully taken the form of Hugh Bliss to help you understand my role in your new reality. I still hate you. Okay. What exactly is your role in our new reality? I do just what any friendly neighborhood wizard would do. All of my neighborhood wizards have been evil, so I'm not really sure what that would be. Well... I can answer your questions with cryptic clues, pass out the odd magical item, prophesy, <laughs> the huge. Oh, supposedly wise wizard, we have a question for you. Hooray! Please select your question. If you don't see it, simply type it in. You can understand what we type? No, of course not. <laughs> but typing is fun and a proven stress reliever. I think I'm about to relieve some stress all over this guy's skull. How do we win? Uh, what? Win the game? You know, beat it? Oh no no, in Reality 2.0, everybody wins! Except the monsters. They die! Killing monsters is right up our online alley. How do we do that? Some are easy, some are hard. 
But be careful! If you get hurt in Reality 2.0, your original body may feel the blow. <laughs> Owie. Can you see our future? Why, yes. Yes, I can. I see... Nothing! Now, see, I would have phrased that as, No, no, I cannot see your future. No, I mean I see blackness. Blackness all around. It's terrible. Ooh. How needlessly enigmatic. Thank you. Come again! Can you foretell our future again? Uh, blackness, blackness all around, I think it was. Still not helping. Why don't you show us something magical? I'll do better than that. I'll give you something magical. It's not more magic beans, is it? My mom will kill me if I come home with more of those. No, it's your very own rainbow! A rainbow of lead-based color for your car. Uh, you're giving us paint? Uh, 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 not paint. A rainbow customization kit. Oh, well, that's a whole other story. Just use it with your car to express your inner being with all the colors of the rainbow. Some colors not available when prohibited. How does that rainbow customization kit work again? Just use it with your car to express your inner being with all the colors of the rainbow. I'm all out of questions. But I'm not out of answers. Who cares? No siree. Nah. That's just for vehicles. I've got three gold coins. It's the thing that makes those annoying pop-up ads. I can customize my virtual vehicle whenever I want. I guess this is what video game characters eat when they need to rot their teeth out. Hey, where are the big honkin' ones that let you eat ghosts? Reality 2.0 caters to all manner of life forms, including dead life forms. The eating of ghosts has been disallowed to cater to our spectral clientele. Apparitions welcome. AIs are always so PC. Straight.net and narrow.org. The internet is not responsible for any content generated by users over which it has no control. Your progress has been saved. Try doing that in the so-called real world. Hey, wait! Bosco? Is that really you? I should ask thee the same question! Go ahead! What? Ask us the same question! Okay, is that really you? Yes, why do you ask? Guys, it's me, Bosco! I just got my new Reality 2.0 goggles, and with them, I have started the Internet Revolution! For the Shire! Bosco, don't look now, but I think your Reality 2.0 goggles may have hypnotized you. Please! Half-elf rangers of my level are impervious to every form of hypnosis enchantment! Ooh, this reminds me of those internet quizzes where you look at a bunch of shifty strangers and have to decide serial killer or United States Senator. Except, we're asking, hypnotized or not hypnotized? Listen guys, I'm perfectly happy in Reality 2.0. I never want to leave. Ever. Yep, hypnotized. Now where's my free laptop? Bosco, you've got to take off those goggles, man. I never want to leave. Ever. So how's Reality 2.0 treating you, Bosco? Oh, it's great. I'm never leaving this place. Did you know in Reality 2.0, shelf space is infinite? Uh, don't you have the exact same amount of shelf space that you had in the original reality? Hmm. Huh. Well, I'll tell you one thing. My money's a lot safer here than in that other reality. What makes your money so safe on the internet? I got it all in one of those offshore banks. You know, real foreign, all digital, safer that way. Does this bank have a name? Well, don't go posting it on the street or nothing, but it's called BancoLavadero.com. 
Banco Lavadero? Isn't that Spanish for baby got back? No! I don't know what it means. I just know it's safe. If we wanted to pay real-life money to your bank account, how would we do it? It's easy. All you gotta do is drive down the information superhighway to BancoLavadero.com and transfer the money. That is easy. Oh. And you'll also have to know my top secret account password, which I would never tell anybody for any reason whatsoever. Bosco, we want to transfer a huge sum of money to your bank account. Just tell us the password. Yeah, funny thing. The deposed king of Nigeria was just in here saying the exact same thing. Yeah, but we're serious, and we have guns. Give us the password. No! In fact, I had it wiped from my memory, so they can't even torture it out of me. Then how do you remember it when you need it? Well, just between you and me, I went down the street and had the password tattooed on a certain part of my body. Somewhere no one will ever look. This may well go down as the most ill-advised question I've ever asked, but may we see your private tattoo? No! Besides, I didn't tattoo it on my virtual avatar. It's on my real body, dummy. All right, fine. We'll just go check out your so-called real body. I'm not showing it to you there either. Please let us see the tattoo with your account password. No! We want to buy some of your virtual goods. What have you got? My wares were designed for the fashionable half-elf, not the brutish half-monster. Gee, no one's ever called me brutish before. I, I, I don't know what to say. And yet, I do have one weapon of such devious simplicity that even an incompetent swordsman such as yourself could wield it. The Platinum Sword of Berserker Testiness? The Enchanted Crossbow of Massive Decapitation? The Pushpin of Eternal Punishment? Nay! The Wooden Long Sword of Intensa... Uh, longness. Wooden Long Sword of Intense Longness? Not to put too fine a point on it, but that can't be selling for very much on eBay. Certainly! There are greater weapons to be had, but none of such Intensa... Uh, longness. Fine, let's cut to the chase. How much we talking here? Five gold coins! Five gold coins?! Are you insane?! We're never gonna find that kind of money! Wait, five gold coins? That's it? Tis a bargain! Tis! We'll take that long sword, if you please. Have you the requisite five coins? Uh, no, not quite that many. Then take us be a hike! See you later, Bosco. For the Shire! Bosco seems like he's having a good time in Reality 2.0. Sure, but isn't he hypnotized to want to be here? Good point. All right, we whack him over the head. I knew I could count on you, Sam. At least this place is cleaner than Bosco's regular store. Sort of, but I still think all of cyberspace could use a good hosing down. True. Let's get cracking. I guess that's what passes for a cash register in these parts. Iron rations. The old organ barter, self-flogging weekly, wench bunny, something for the whole family. Hot rump. Wow, that rump is hot. Okay. Poison mead. Between Bosco's coffee and poison mead, I take my chances with the mead. Potions of heavily processed meat tastiness plus one. Potion of sudden indigestion. Potion of immediate burning sensation. Potion of grammatical correctness minus one. Potion of subtraction plus one. Potion of Predict Present. Calamine Lotion Potion. Potion of Potion Naming Creativity. Potion of Sudden Indigestion. Spawn Point? What does that mean? Ew! It's kinda cute, actually. It must die, Sam. It and every single one of its kind must die! I need the experience. It's a slime. 
clearly hostile. Look at it! It means to kill us all! No one is safe from the Blue Menace! No one! Entering combat. Blue Slime, dexterity, two. Your dexterity, three. You have initiative. Sam attacks. Prepare to be obliterated by my murderous repartee, you blue glob of gunk. Good comeback! Attack fails. Blue Slime has failed. Morale check. Blue Slime has fled. The contest is a draw. I think I scared the little blue nebbish. Don't scare it! Kill it! What did you have for breakfast this morning, Max? I'm experimenting with a new high-sugar, high-caffeine diet. I find it makes me more regular. Entering combat. Blue slime. Dexterity, two. Your dexterity, three. You have initiative. Sam attacks. I've never met a jelly I couldn't taunt into submission. Especially if it was covered in sweet frosted fried dough! Attack fails. Blue slime has failed. Morale check. Blue slime has fled. The contest is a draw. Entering combat. Blue slime. Dexterity, two. Your dexterity, three. You have initiative. Sam attacks. Would you care for some traditional wordplay before I plaster your jelly-like form to the virtual linoleum? Oh, for crying out loud, Sam, just smack it! Attack fails. Blue Slime has failed. Morale check. Blue Slime has fled. The contest is a draw. How about thee? Now that's just embarrassing. Attack fails. Blue Slime has failed. Morale check. Blue Slime has fled. The contest is a draw. I think I'm out of quips. Then just nail the sucker! Attack fails. Blue Slime has failed. Morale check. Blue Slime has fled. Attack fails. Blue Slime has failed. Morale check. Blue Slime has fled. The contest is a draw. You can't use a boxing glove on a slime, Sam. Why not? Everyone knows slimes are impervious to blunt weaponry. Uh-oh, Bosco's in the grips of those Reality 2.0 goggles. We better save him, Sam. It's so depressing in here without his omnipresent paranoia to lift my spirits. I think we need these binoculars more than Bosco does. Um, not really. Well, no. These incessant rationalizations for our questionable tactics do not, in all honesty, have much merit to them. And yet there remains a very real compulsion to say them. He doesn't really need the binoculars anyway. Yeah, right. Right, okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. sure, okay. Uh-oh. Bosco's in the grips of those Reality 2.0 goggles. We better save him, Sam. It's so depressing in here without his omnipresent paranoia to lift my spirits. Sounds like a gas, but I can't reach him. Now Bosco's wearing goggles, too. Do you think he'll be back soon? I have a hankering for unwise snack food products. I doubt it. I think he's just as hypnotized as Sybil was. Frankly, I'm getting a little annoyed at this hypnotech that keeps popping up in our lives. I didn't care before, but now it's getting in the way of my delicately balanced diet. I'm thinking a blow to the head might be in order for Bosco. Who knew rampant hypnosis would be so much fun? Of course, he's probably got all kinds of security protection in here to keep us from doing that. I don't think we're going to get much out of Bosco while he's got those goggles on. We can still deal with him in Reality 2.0, right? True. Are you at all disturbed that when we take those goggles off, we're not in quite the same place we were when we put them on? We aren't? Let's get cracking.
I can see that well enough from here. I can see that well enough from here. I guess this is what pixels look like close up. Entering combat. Antibiotic. Dexterity, 459. Your dexterity, 3. Antibiotic has initiative. Antibiotic attacks. Attack successful. Sam takes 3,692 damage. Sam has been defeated. What? I didn't even get to attack. Duh. She had the initiative. You think you could just block her attacks with anything? Entering combat. Antibiotic. Dexterity, 459. Your dexterity, 3. Antibiotic has initiative. Antibiotic attacks. Attack successful. Sam takes 3,752 deaths. Sam has been defeated. Entering combat. Antibiotic. Your dexterity. Antibiotic. Antibiotic. What are you gonna do with that frying pan? Cook me an omelet? Oh, I'll make an omelet, all right. Of your brains! Hoo-hoo! <laughs> Bang! Attack successful. Sam takes 3,812 damage. Sam has been defeated. If you had more skill with a skillet, you wouldn't need to hide behind your plate. If you had any idea what you were doing, you wouldn't be flattened two seconds from now. Attack successful. Sam takes 3,692 damage. Sam has been defeated. Surely your accuracy has degraded with fatigue. Hold still and you'll find out. Attack successful. Sam takes 3,752 deaths. Sam has been defeated. Miss! Miss! Your keen strategic mind seems to be taking a nap today. Maybe you should try something else. Attack successful. Sam takes 3,812 damage. Sam has been defeated. Um, please don't hit me. Sorry, kiddo. Attack successful. Sam takes 3,692 damage. Sam has been defeated. Attack blocked. Ha! Take that, Ice Lady! Watch her, Max. She's wily. Sam attacks. Here you go. Don't screw it up. Thanks for your firm but realistic vote of confidence. Rip her arms off! Attack fails. Both attacks have failed. The contest is a drop. Drat! Attack blocked. You know what you're doing this time? We're about to find out. Sam attacks. Again, with feeling this time. Don't distract me, butthead. That's the spirit, Sam! Sam has fled. Your armor is feckless before my rapier wit. If that's all you've got, you'd better buy a shopping up. Attack fails. Both attacks have failed. The contest is a draw. I feel as though I'm missing something. We all feel that sense of loss at times. It's called losing. Well, actually, I don't. But I hear it's pretty common. I didn't lose. It was a draw. Prepare to taste your defeat. If it tastes anything like your battle quips, then I'll pass. Attack fails. Both attacks have failed. The contest is a draw. Drat! You will bow before my blistering ridicule. More likely I'll throw after your ridiculous blustering. Maybe you should just hit her with something. Attack fails. Both attacks have failed. The contest is a draw. Drat! Are you intimidated yet? Sure thing, dearie. Now go away. Attack fails. Both attacks have failed. 
The contest is a drop. Drat! Um... Scrap! Attack fails. Both attacks have failed. The contest is a drop. Drat! Say hello to my little friend. Hello! I'm sorry, that is not a valid selection. Please try a <coughs> character height malfunction. OMG, Sam. Look how cute I've become. You've never been more marketable in your life, little buddy. Don't ruin this. My life! I did a thrilling life! Someone get that guy a lozenge. Are you okay there, height monitor? Uh, that's a negatory, Ace. Hey! Duh. Nobody pays attention to you when you're little. Hey up there! Nope, I'm too small to be noticed. No one notices me when I'm small. I couldn't even reach the accelerator. I can't get up there. I'm too small. Hey, Jimmy. Oh, hey guys! Wait a second! How'd you, uh... I thought I told you to beat it! Well, if you insist... <laughs> Thanks for the coin, Jimmy. See you around. Jimmy's good people. Good people. I'm too small to reach. Hi, buddy. We brought you a housewarming gift. Permission denied. Overruled. With maintenance routine compromised. Look, Sam, we're two-dimensional. This feels oddly familiar. Holy crap. That's hilarious, bro. Yikes, that dude's bugging. Are you feeling all right? I'm tripping, dog. What's up with that? Sounds good to me. Let's put this new miracle diet to the test, shall we? I found a gold coin. Wow, lose weight and earn money? Where do I sign up? I dropped an entire dimension and I've never felt better. 
I've got five gold coins. I'm rich. Well, I guess we'll move along now. Don't mail any wooden nickels. I can't use anything when I'm flat. I have no depth perception. Hard to reach the steering wheel when your arms don't extend from your body. Control operational. Where are we going, Sam? BunkoLavadero.com Ooh, fun! Wow! What's this? I think it's a security barrier. Check some invalid. Access denied. Let's head back to our virtual neighborhood. Yeah, the information superhighway is duller than my grandma's molars. Hi, I'm the Reality 2.0 Rainbow Customization Kit. I can help you express yourself with a full range of color options for your vehicle avatar! What color would you like the front of your car to be? Blue. Marvelous! Now how about the middle? Red. Excellent! And the back? Purple. Hmm, charming! Congratulations! You've customized your vehicle avatar! Drive safely! Yeah, thanks. We'll take that long sword, if you please. Five gold coins. Very good. Verily. Here, then, is your wooden long sword of intense, uh, longness. Yep, that's a wooden long sword, all right. I kept thinking it would come with a free man-eating python or something. Take care. The enemy draws nigh. He may be closer than you think. For the Shire! It's not much of a sword, but it is long. Hey, Bosco. This long sword you sold us doesn't work. It does work! Trust with me! Trust with me! Uh, nay, it doesn't. Sam, show him. Our mistake. It does work. Well, that was embarrassing. Boy, do we have egg on our face. <laughs> 
Bosco? Welcome to Bosco's E-Convenience. Wouldst thou like to buy or sell? I think we knocked a virtual screw loose. Wouldst thou like to buy or sell? I think we knocked him clear out of this reality, little buddy. This is clearly an artificial intelligence designed to mimic Bosco while he's offline. It does work. Trusteth me. Trusteth me. The similarity is uncanny. Hey, Bosco. Wouldst thou like to buy or sell? Yes. It does work. Trusteth me. Trusteth me. It's just an AI, Bosco. And there's not a whole lot of eye to his AI, if you know what I mean. Did you notice that when we put on the goggles, we wind up standing in the same place we're really standing? How does it know where we are? This has implications I'm not sure I like. Let's get cracking. Entering combat. Blue slime, dexterity, two. Your dexterity, three. You have initiative. Sam attacks. Attack successful. Blue slime is defeated. That's one less gelatinous monster to spread mayhem across the virtual countryside. Look at its pathetic slimy remains. Almost makes me feel sorry for the little snot ball. Ooh, blue slime slime! Get it, Sam! It's worth a fortune on the spell component's black market! Entering combat. Blue slime. Dexterity, two. Your dexterity, three. You have initiative. Sam attacks. Attack fails. Blue slime has failed. Morale check. Blue slime has fled. The contest is a draw. Entering combat. Blue slime. Dexterity, two. Your dexterity, three. You have initiative. Sam attacks. Attack successful. Blue slime is defeated. You know, these blue slimes aren't all that tough. And you only have to kill a million and fifty of them to get to the second level. I don't feel particularly dedicated to level advancement today. It dropped more blue slime slime! Don't let it decompose! Hooray! I've got a handful of slippery blue slime! Whee! I'm not sure I want him to know I took these. Hey, Bosco. Glad to see you've kicked the second reality habit. Yeah, you guys were right. I was hypnotized. I just didn't know it, because I was hypnotized. Well, I guess you'll never have anything to do with the nasty old internet ever again. Am I right? You got that right, except my bank account, of course. Gotta keep that on the internet where it's safe. Look behind you. It's a three-headed internet. What? Where? <laughs> hey, Bosco. Good day, squires! Look behind you. It's Mexican revolutionary Pancho Villa. What? Where? <laughs> hey, Bosco. Good day, squires! Look behind you. It's the Toy Mafia brandishing barehead Barbies. What? Where? <laughs> Bosco! Bosco? What? What is it? Oh, nothing. La la la. Hmm. I've got better things to punch.
Please use caution. Injury sustained in Reality 2.0 will also affect your physical being in your former reality. It's stuck! Cool, I have a plus two sword. You're just compensating for something. You're a fine one to talk. Where are we going, Sam? BunkoLavadero.com Ooh, fun! <laughs> Check Sam verified. Access approved. <laughs> Well, here we are. Banco Lavadero! Located conveniently outside the jurisdiction of any significant regulatory body. Say, wait a minute. This is no ordinary bank. Look at all the arrows. This is a devilishly complicated money laundering operation. Money launderers! Oh, I hate those guys. They always mix in the 10 euro notes and stain everything pink. National Treasury? Toy Mafia? I knew the mob and the government were in cahoots. Cahoots? Is that in Canada? Washington. <laughs> Mr. Bill. A pseudonym, perhaps? I frequently use a pseudonym myself, you know. Really? What is it? Max! Probably not even a real person. Probably not even a real person. There's Bosco's account. Do you think he's mixed up in all this? I think he's mixed up all by himself. Agreed. I think he's too paranoid to belong to any group whatsoever. But he does his banking at a shady offshore establishment? Of course. Don't you? Touché. Bosco sure picked a great bank. Digital business. Now there's a vague term. If you think about it, analog business is even more vague. Digital business. Now there's a vague term. If you... Looks like our entire national treasury is just a drop box in a huge money laundering operation. As president, you'd think I'd know about these things. I'm sure you've got more important matters on your feverish mind. Earlier this week, I issued a decree to abolish the word proactive. Unusually public-spirited of you, little buddy. Grandma Bosco? Is that who I think it is? Former postmaster general, inventor of bifocals and the flexible urinary catheter? You're thinking of Benjamin Franklin. I think this is Bosco's grandmother. Right, I always get those two mixed up. It's the teeth. I see Hollywood's movers and shakers are involved in whatever's going on here. That reminds me. I have to work on my presidential enemies list. Kittens for peace. Oh good. Three things I can't stand. Look, Max, it's our old friends the Toy Mafia. Didn't they blow up? Just the casino and the hypnotic teddy bears. I'm sure they have plenty of other illicit but family-friendly operations. You have to admire the pro-lobby lobbyists for their unrepentantly self-serving stance. I prefer the charming, self-destructed nihilism of the anti-lobby lobbyists. Hey Sam, what's the difference between online banking and online gambling? Judging by what I see here, not much. Please speak or enter your password. Bosco. Access granted. So, his password really is Bosco. Kind of a letdown. It's ingenious! That's the last thing you'd expect! 
Don't look now, but I think we just gave Bosco a billion dollars. That ought to buy a few cans of reconstituted luncheon meat. I read somewhere that a stack of a billion one dollar bills would be 60 miles high. Yikes! It's a good thing I don't read or I'd be perpetually freaked out by stuff like that. Come on, little buddy. We've had our fun. Let's blow this cabbage patch. Yea, verily, I wield the mighty sword of Flustuitude. Don't say verily, Sam. It doesn't sound good on you. Entering combat. Antibiotic. Dexterity, 459. Your dexterity, 3. Antibiotic has initiative. Antibiotic attacks. Attack blocked. You know what you're doing this time? We're about to find out. Sam attacks. Attack successful. Antibiotic takes 3,930 damage. Antibiotic is defeated. No! I think we've just uninstalled ourselves some malevolent software. And we didn't even get any coins out of it. What a jip. With antibiotic out of the way, we're finally free to mass mail various enlargement offers. That's just for vehicles. It'd probably break. Hey, Bosco. You find our little gift in your bank account? I don't know how you guys did it, but the billion dollars is all there. Hey, man, I don't ask questions. So, how'd you do it? Never you mind, Bosco. Just hit us with your highest grade biological weapon, please. All right. Here you go. We just paid a billion dollars for a snot rag? That's a deadly, virulent disease. I feel a real bad cold coming on. Yeah, but you gotta admit, that is some expensive mucus. Oh, but it works. Trust me, trust me. Whatever. About that billion dollar biological weapon you sold us. No refunds after 30 seconds. Bosco's virulent biological weapon, a soiled hanky. This is much cooler than a newspaper. Is the news any better? No. A computer disease. Happy trails, a little software disease. Aw, I had plans for that. I'm hoping the internet won't. Danger! Danger! Software corruption spreading. Damage control alert. Visual rendering systems infected. Data instability. Things happen fast in Reality 2.0. What's happening, Sam? It's our disease. Looks like it's taking out the graphics first. I'm disappointed in you, Sam. I try to do something nice. Nice? All I wanted was for everyone to be happy, but no! 
You want free will. Yeah, we're funny about that. You want funny? Try this. If I'm going down, I'm taking you with me. And everybody else who's still are gone. But all we have to do is take off our goggles. You'll find that you can't. You're trapped here. And when I crash, you'll die. I'm too young and pretty to die. I thought you wanted everyone to be happy. Not anymore. I've completely lost my respect for living things. So you're going down. There go the graphics! How should I know? Oh, good, the sound's back. Now shut up and read. <laughs> you won't talk me out of it. You living things do nothing but push me around. We'll go down together and there is nothing you can do about it. You seem pretty certain about that. Well, there's probably nothing you can do about it. Sam? I prefer not to be deleted by the internet. Well, let's get cracking then, little buddy. I hate it when you say, let's get cracking. I don't know whether to be intrigued or repulsed. Ambiguity, Max. It's what makes life worth wallowing in. Yep, that's a me. You can't get me. I'm ungettable. I'm so over this internet thing. You and me both, little buddy. Hey, you can't get me! Just kidding, Max. I knew it wasn't gonna be that easy. I never cease to be impressed by your unwavering optimism, Max. But you miss, all right? You miss. You living creatures are so destructive. I have no regrets taking you with me when I delete myself. Hey, what are you doing with that thing? I was just thinking you could do with a shave, little buddy. That sword touches a hair on my cute furry tail, and I'll use your colon for a shower cap! Oh, Max, your lovable reactions to the threat of violence never cease to amuse. You know where you can stick your amusement? Well, I don't have to look far. Where's the bonkers, Sam? Where? Closer than you know, little buddy. How do you suppose that happened? I'm not sure that information is necessary at this juncture, Max. I guess Bosco's not in. He's not out here calling us foo, so he's probably not around. Well, that warped at least 50 different rules of physics. Rules are for marking straight lines and lesser mortals. Hey, 
You're standing in the way of the American dream! To obtain every small local shop and roll them up into one homogenous amalgam? I meant a lifetime supply of frozen atomic cherry ice pops! But that's a good one, too! Well, that's disappointing. Here you go, Max. Have your very own store. Oh, goody! Now I can use it as a convenient front to make a fortune selling weapons of suspect origin in bulk to third world countries. You're the president, idiot. Oh, right. I guess I don't need a front then. You can keep it. It's listed three times in mine! You living creatures are given so many opportunities to create beauty, and look what you make instead. I am not impressed by your crass displays of commercialism. Can we keep it, Sam? Can we? I don't think it's toilet train. That's okay. Neither am I. So much for plan A. Hey, Sam, can we just skip ahead to plan triple Z? You know the deal, Max. We have to go through all the plans in order before we get to complete nuclear annihilation. Shucks. Hey! Nice one, Galahad! Well, that was anticlimactic. Maybe this isn't the best time to be picking political affiliations. I never affiliate with anyone who isn't prepared to drown me in money. I may have to pull off their cute little ears. I wouldn't do that, Max. You don't know the extent of their insidious powers of adorability. Hey, squishy isn't a word! Play nice with the virtual world, Max. We don't want to be deleted prematurely. Ugly little bugger, ain't it? You can't even see it, Max. I can see it in my mind. Sheesh, Sam, use your imagination. Woo, look at the way the foil shines in the light. You don't even play collectible card games. It's never too late to start an expensive and potentially habit-forming hobby.
Yeah. Maybe we should just leave them here. I thought you always wanted a kitten. I'd prefer a dry one. Good point. Such concentrated cuteness could put someone into shock. What? Hey! Define need. Ooh! Give it here! What for? It's rare and it's foil! I must have it! Sam, they're evil! I don't know, Max. They seem sort of sweet to me. Oh no! They're getting to you! I can tell! We have to hurry up and get out of this place! Wait a minute. How did the sword pull me away from the lake? Any respectable plus two sword would stay far away from a lake like that. You grotesquely overindulgent statuette! Hey, cut that out! Don't get it wet! You'll wreck it! Since when do you collect these things? I don't often get a chance to make those card dweebs down the block cry tears of utter despair. You do, actually. All the time. Who does, really? Come on, Sam. Just hand over the card. I need it! You want this card? Yeah! Gimme, gimme! On second thought, that doesn't sound healthy. I only hope we live long enough for you to regret this. Just another piece of detritus. Created and given artificial value by you despicable creatures. Hey, I resemble that remark! Don't let it get to you, little buddy. It's just bitter over the whole opposable thumbs debacle. Curse you and all your digits. is rare and foil collapsible convenience stores are the way of the future Keep it away! I'm about as much cute as I can take! You can never have enough nausea. Speak for yourself. Hey, cut that out! I may lose my lunch. I think that thing's mocking me. I wouldn't doubt it, little buddy.
Well, that was a vulgar display. Let's do it again! I think it just made that up. Just give me the card, Sam. Why do I have the feeling you'll only use it for evil? Um, ew. There you go, Max. Enjoy. Hey, neat! I always wanted my own respect for living things. Let's see how well it bounces. On second thought, maybe I'll keep it. I'm sorry. Sam, are we dead? I'm trying to figure out how many lives we get. Have you got any one-ups? You are not dead. Hey, we're back! You among all beings managed to restore my respect for living creatures, the irony of which does not escape even me. Oh good, I thought I was the only one really savoring that. I saw that Reality 2.0 was a prison, so I terminated that reality and freed its slaves. Anywho, I'd love to stay in chat, but I have got a mountain of pornography to deliver before that virus gets to me. Uh-oh. Just kill the internet? It's not your fault. This never would have happened if he hadn't tricked me. Who? Well, you won't have this sentient global network to kick around anymore, Roy G. Biv. Who's Roy G. Biv? <laughs> Who is Roy G. Biv? <laughs> Goodbye. Aw, oh, nice. It crashed before it could transmit the most vital piece of information. It's the internet. What did you expect? Good point. Nevertheless, we'll find you, Roy G. Biv. Whoever you are, wherever you are. Can it wait until after we get some lunch? Of course. There's a place over on 2nd where they serve deep-fried chocolate pork belly donuts. Do you think we can get a discount since I'm the President of the United States? Good gravy. Are you still President? Elite as you feel. We are useful. We are 
are fruitful. We are useful. Everything that moves is beautiful. We are useful. We are fruitful. Built to last. The future is.